Yeah, Pop, you taught me a lot of things. But a lot of things, I had to learn on my own. Like that time Mr. Rand came to the house to collect the rent when we was two months behind. I don't remember what year it was. I just, I know it was winter. Grandma Ada had just died, and you got behind on the rent because you needed to help pay for a funeral. I don't know if you knew it, Pop, but you were a big man. Everywhere you went, people treated you like you were a big man. You used to take me to the barbershop with you. You'd walk in there and fill up the whole place. Everybody, everybody would stop cussing because Jim Becker had just walked in. I would just look at you and wonder how you could be that big. I wanted to be like that. I would go to school and try to make myself feel big. But I never could. I told myself, that's OK. When I get grown, oh, I'm going to be like that. Walk into the barbershop and have everybody stop and look at me. That day when Mr. Rand came to the house, it was snowing. You came out on the porch, and Mr. Rand started shouting and cussing and threatening to put us out on the streets where we belong. I was waiting for you to tell him to shut up, to get off your porch. But you just, you just looked at him and promised you'd have the money next month. Mama came to the door, and Mr. Rand kept shouting and cussing. I looked at Mama. She was trying to get me to go in the house. Then I looked at you, and you had got smaller. The longer he shouted, the smaller you got. When we went back to the barbershop, you didn't seem so big no more. You was the same size as everybody else. You was just another man in the barbershop. That's when I told myself, if I ever got big, I wouldn't let nobody make me small. Then when I met Susan McKnight and found out her daddy was the vice president of the golf oil, that's when I got big. That made me a big man. I felt like I was somebody. I felt like I could walk into the barbershop and fill it up the way you did. Then when she told that lie on me, that's, that's when I got small. That's when I realized I wasn't big from the inside. I wasn't big on my own. Once he told that lie, it made me small. I wanted to do something that said, something that said I wasn't just another nigga. That, that I was Clarence Becker.